hello students in this class we are going to discuss mean and rms values now we will discuss some problems based on mean and root mean square values so this problem is based on mean value actually so what is the formula for mean value 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so what is given in the question y is given x square and a given and b b also given so what is y here f of x function is y f of x equal to y what is y given in this question x square so in place of f of x we have to substitute x square so in place of a you have to substitute 1 in place of b you have to substitute 2 so 2 minus 1 so this becomes 1 right integral of x square is x cube by 3 now you have to substitute after integration you have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit so in place of x one substitute 2 minus in place of x again you have to substitute lower limit which is 1 upper limit 2 2 cube minus lower limit 1 cube here 1 by 3 is taken out so 2 cube is how much 8 minus 1 cube is 1 so 7 into 1 by 3 is 7 by 3 is the answer yes let's moving on to the next problem in this question also we are going to calculate mean value so mean value formula is 1 by b minus a integration a to b f of x dx so here the function is given f of x equal to 1 by 1 plus x square is given a also given b also given you just substitute in place of f of x the given function is 1 by 1 plus x square and in place of b how to substitute 1 in place of a is 0 so which is also given in the question so what about integral of of 1 by 1 plus x square dx simply tan inverse x integral of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x and this becomes 1 okay so now after integration you have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit so in place of x once you have to substitute 1 this is upper limit minus in place of x you have to substitute 0 which is lower limit so tan inverse 1 value is pi by 4 okay so tan inverse 1 value is pi by 4 and tan inverse 0 value is 0 so pi by 4 minus 0 is pi by 4 is the answer okay let's move on to the next problem same based on the mean value only so given function is y is equal to sin x you know so f of x equal to y so y what is y he is given here sin x so what is the formula for mean value 1 by b minus a integration of a to b f of x dx so in place of f of x substitute the given function which is sin x okay and what is 0 to pi here it is a it is b a value is 0 and b value is pi you have to substitute so b minus a means pi minus 0 so what about integral of sin x dx minus cos x so after integration you have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit in place of x one substitute upper limit which is pi minus integration uh, in place of x you have to substitute lower limit 0 here minus of lower limit minus of minus becomes plus okay here it is minus so lower limit when you are going to substitute upper limit minus lower limit right already it is minus so minus of minus becomes zero what about the value of cos pi minus one so what is the cos zero value one so minus of minus becomes plus one plus one one plus one is two so two into one by pi is pi by two two by pi is the answer yes moving on to the next topic which is root mean square value so in this question we have to calculate rms value which is root mean square value in previous problem we discussed about mean value now we are doing mean root mean square value so before doing this root mean square value let us see in the let us see the formula for mean square value so mean square what about the mean value formula previously it is only f of x when it comes to square mean square means the function should be whole square so that is the only difference we are having in this formula so every, everything is same here so given function is f of x that is root x in place of f f of x you have to substitute root x and it is whole square square, square root get cancelled you are getting only x and what is a here this is a and this is b value so b minus a becomes 1 minus 0 so what about the integral of x dx x square by 2 now upper limit minus lower limit you have to substitute in place of x1 substitute upper limit 1 uh, next minus in place of x you have to substitute lower limit 0 this becomes 1 by 2 
minus 0 that is 1 by 2 is the answer for mean square value now for root mean square value simply do root for the given value so whatever the answer we are getting for mean square value just make a root here we are getting root mean square answer yes moving on to the next problem based on root mean square so we have to calculate root mean square value for the given function f of x and this is a this is b so what is the formula for mean square simply function is whole square okay so given function is root 8 minus 4x whole square 4x square whole square square root get cancelled you are getting only 8 minus 4x square what about b b is 2 here and a is 0 so this becomes 1 by 2 and in this take 4 common if you take 4 common what is left over here 2 minus x square so here 2 1 there, 2 2 there gets cancelled 2 take 2 is outside here now integral of 2 with respect to dx is 2x and integral of x square with respect to dx is x cube by 3 now you have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit after integration you have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit in place of x one substitute upper limit which is 2 minus in place of x one substitute lower limit 0 when you substitute lower limit 0 everything becomes 0 here so whatever the thing calculated after here we are getting 8 by 3 so this is mean square value to get the root mean square value just keep root for the answer which you are getting after mean square value just keep root for that you are getting root mean square value of the answer yes next problem here also we are going to calculate root mean square value of the given function root log x and the range is given here it is a it is b a value is 1 b value is e so whatever the given function is f of x root log x right so in before going to root mean square value we have to calculate mean square value the formula is f of x whole square right so here we already done here for the given function uh, square root means root uh, square get cancelled you are getting f of x so in place of f of x whole square you have to just substitute log x what about the integral of log x I don't have formula for this integration of log x you have formula for integral of 1 by x which is log x but integral of log x so what you have to do is nothing there means you have to substitute 1 here now this becomes uv integral of uv so this is first function and this is second function so log x into 1 so what about integral uv formula u integral v dx minus whole integral u dash integral v dx dx so here so what about u here log x and integral of v minus whole integral derivative of u into integral of v okay log x log x integral of 1 dx is x d by dx of log x is 1 by x and integral of 1 dx is x x x get cancelled here so what is left over here integral of 1 dx which is x so x log x minus x is left over here simply what about the integral of log x value x log x minus x you can remember like this integral of log x value is x log x minus x yeah we got x log x minus x for the integration of log x now upper limit minus lower limit you have to do in place of x one substitute upper limit e minus lower limit is one in place of x you have to substitute lower limit one here so log e value is one and log one value is zero so this part minus of minus plus one and this is e minus e 0 so only 1 is left here so 1 into 1 minus e minus 1 by e minus 1 is 1 by e minus 1 so this is mean square value so whatever the answer you are getting you have to just put a root here if you put root here you are getting root mean square value of the given question this is 1 by root e minus 1 yeah, next problem is based on the trapezoidal rule for the given question we have to evaluate this function by using trapezoidal rule and the table also given so these are x variables and these are y variables x ordinates y ordinates okay so what is the format for this trapezoidal rule the format should be integral of a to b f of x dx okay just compare the given question with the standard form so in place of a what is a here one so in place of a you have 1 in place of b we have upper limit which is 4 okay lower limit is 1 upper limit is 4 and what about the function f of x is y 
the function is y so so given that from the given data you can see in the h is equal to 1 so there is a, a sample size here between uh, 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 the h is equals to 1 okay h is equals to 1 so now what about the formula for trapezoidal rule and what are the y ordinates here so this is y naught this is y1 this is y2 this is y3 so given x ordinate for the given x ordinates what are the y naught's value i mean y ordinate values because in formula you have to substitute y ordinates values only not x ordinates so what is the formula for trapezoidal rule h by 2 sum of first and last ordinates first ordinate is y naught last ordinate is y3 plus 2 times sum of remaining ordinates which is y1 plus y2 just substitute the y ordinates here h is given already 1 by 2 so h is 1 by 2 is there 2 substitute y ordinates first and last ordinates together combine and plus 2 times remaining ordinates just simplify by using calc you will get the answer so this is a way of doing trapezoidal rule for the next problem the given table we have to calculate trapezoidal rule and also simpson's rule also here so given x lies between x equal to 1 and x equal to 4 so x value starting from 1 to 4 so how to calculate this here y ordinates given y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and h is how much sample size here 0 0.5 how to see sample size h see here from first ordinate x0 to x1 what is the difference 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 so this is h is 0 0.5 this is the sample size of the x ordinates now what is the formula for trapezoidal rule h by 2 sum of first and last ordinates plus 2 times sum of remaining ordinates what are the first and last ordinates here y0 and y6 are the first and last ordinates and plus 2 times sum of all remaining y ordinates we have to do so after simplification we will get we are getting the answer 8.875 square units which is a required area for by using trapezoidal rule so for the same parameters we have to calculate simpson's rule so what is the formula for simpson's rule same h by 2 sum of first and last ordinates is common here plus here the difference 4 into sum of odd ordinates plus 2 times sum of even ordinates just remember 2 times this is into ok 2 times sum of even ordinates always remember 2 times even 4 times odd so just substitute the y ordinates here sum of first and last ordinates plus 2 4 times sum of remaining ordinates uh, I mean odd ordinates what are the odd ordinates you are having y1 y3 y5 among y1 to y6 so what are the odd ordinates y1 y3 y5 plus 2 times sum of even ordinates what are the even ordinates left over a y2 and y4 are left over just substitute all this uh, y ordinates on in this uh, formula you are getting the answer which is required area 8.85 square units so mostly you are getting same almost same answer you are getting by using trapezoidal and simpson's run for the given parameters yeah moving on to the next problem in this question there is no table the previous question table already given ready made but for this question we have to plot the table here so given function is uh, you can see here yeah given function is 1 by 1 plus x square so this is a function f of x okay so now so this is the interval dividing interval this is okay this is a this is b so a we know b we also know and what about the sample size into 4 into 4 equal parts is given so n is equals to 4 if n is equals 4 then what about the sample size h is equals to formula is b minus a by n what is b here 1 minus a is 0 by uh, what is the number of samples 4 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 so this is h so h is the sample size so based on this you can write the x ordinates here x ordinates in the table so starting from 0 integration is here 0 to 1 integration is here 0 to 1 in between 0 to 1 make 4 samples and uh, sample size is 0 0.25 so in every every ordinate you have to add 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 0 0.5 again you have to add 0 0.25 so like that you are getting 1 from 0 to 1 the sample size is 0 0.25 so that is h ok from by Simpson's rule what is the formula yeah what is the formula for Simpson's rule h by 3 
sum of first and last ordinates plus four times sum of odd ordinates plus two times sum of even ordinates. So h by three sum of first and last ordinates plus four times sum of uh, odd ordinates plus two times sum of even ordinates. So what to do? So after calculation, we are getting zero point seven eight five three. Yeah, if you want to verify this answer, just do by actual integration. Whatever we were doing, actual integration, integral of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x, upper limit minus lower limit. In place of x1, substitute upper limit 1, minus in, in place of x, substitute lower limit 0. Tan inverse 1 is pi by 4. So, pi by 4 value is 0 0.78, something we are getting. So, by actual integration also, we are getting the same answer. Yeah, here is a small correction in the previous problem. This is h by 3 here. Here correct only. So, here is h by 3. Simpson's rule is h by 3. Trapezoidal rule is h by 2.